WrestleMania is tomorrow, so here are my predictions for the show, starting with the first match. The Rock and Roman Reigns are set to main event the first night against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. This is by far the match that I'm most excited about. The Rock is the most interesting thing about pro wrestling right now, and he's done everything in his power to make this match feel as special as possible. I predict that The Rock and Roman are going to win this one because of the stipulation in place. I even think that The Rock is going to pin Cody Rhodes. This will set some doubt in Cody. Is he going to choke the next night against Roman? Is he going to be more nervous because of losing on the first night? On top of that, we need the bloodline rule for the end game moment but we'll get into that later on in this video the next match we need to talk about is Becky Lynch taking on Rhea Ripley for the women's world championship a lot of people predict that Rhea Ripley is gonna retain that's probably because a lot of people like Rhea and wanted to retain and I would agree I think that's the right decision however to me the most important thing about this match that needs to come out of it is a double turn I think that Rhea Ripley is too popular the fans love her and she needs to turn babyface as for Becky she needs a character change my prediction is a double turn is happening as it should the first option is recreating Austin and Bret Hart's double turn in this situation Becky would win the title and the other option is Rhea Ripley retaining and trying to shake Becky's hand before taking a beatdown from a frustrated Becky Lynch. Hopefully, we get 2018 serious angry Becky and not 2022 goofy Becky. Gunther defends his IC Championship against Sami Zayn. This is a match I don't have too much desire to watch. It's kind of whatever. Most people wanted to see Gunther and Chad Gable in one more match, and I was one of those people. I still think this is going to be a good match regardless because Sami Zayn and Gunther are two of the best talents in that ring. For some reason, I feel like Damian Priest is going to cash in his briefcase on Gunther after this match. So yeah, Gunther is going to retain, defeat Sami Zayn, but then lose the belt to Damian Priest who's going to cash in the money money in the bank. I don't know why, that's just what I'm feeling. The WWE is having a ladder pack six man tag team title match. There's going to be plenty of teams in it. And I think it's safe to assume that the titles are going to be split up because they keep bringing up the fact that the titles are together and they'll both be up there. So the question is basically what two teams are going to win the belts. I think for the Raw side, it's going to be R-Truth and The Miz winning those tag team championships where on SmackDown, it's going to be Austin Theory and Grayson Waller who get those belts. I honestly would have preferred R-Truth pinning Damian Priest and winning the tag team championships because that pop would have gone crazy but it is what it is you can't really complain this is still going to be a lot of fun after his tag team match in the first night seth rollins will defend the world championship against drew mcintyre in the second night this is a match that I'm very excited about because Drew's character has been on fire. Drew McIntyre needs to win this one, and I think he will. I feel like CM Punk is going to accidentally screw over Seth Rollins, which will set up a future match between those two at SummerSlam. And after he's done with Rollins, he'll move on to Drew McIntyre and the world title picture. So that's what I think. I think Drew's going to win by CM Punk accidentally distracting Seth Rollins when he was trying to distract or maybe help him or whatever. He's going he's gonna to do some nonsense like that. So that's going to happen. Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee take on Dominic Mysterio on Santos Escobar. I think this is a fine matchup. I would have preferred Carlito instead of Dragon Lee. That's just my hot take. But I feel like it makes a lot more sense because Santos Escobar was beefing with Carlito. Also, I think the audience would have went crazy for Carlito doing the whole Apple thing. They would have went nuts. Trust me. Anyways, it is whatever. I understand them trying to build up Dragon Lee. So it makes sense. Anyways, I think that Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee are going to get this victory. Because it doesn't make sense for the heels to win this match. It really, you know, I think this feud is kind of done after this. The next match is Jimmy and Jay Uso. This is going to be a lot of fun. Nobody knows these two better than they know each other. And looking back, it probably would have been a little bit better to book this after the turn at SummerSlam because the momentum is not where it used to be. Jay Uso has evolved so much. I feel like it feels like he's going to go backwards at this point. But anyways, with that being said, it's still going to be a very good match. It could even end up being the match of the weekend if they don't do 200,000 super kicks. Anyways, Jay Uso, I think, is going to win this match because it does not make sense for him to lose. Like I said, he's main event Jey Uso. He's doing great things on Raw. He does not need to take an L. Jimmy is the one who's going to be taking this L. Sorry, Jimmy. Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and Naomi are all teaming up to take on the rest of Damage Control. 
there's not too much to talk about with this match. Uh, we all know who's going to win. I promise you, Jade is not taking a loss for a very long time. I also think that this is going to lead to Bianca and Jade getting the Tag Team Championships in the future. I'm going to need that. I think that would be very good because down the line at WrestleMania 41, I think those two are going to have some sort of, you know, you know, falling out. And that's when we get Bianca and Jade in a singles match at WrestleMania 41. So I'm thinking about WrestleMania 41. This match is more of a filler for that pay-per-view. Logan Paul defends the U.S. Championship in a triple threat match with Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. This has the potential to also be the match of the weekend. There's just so many good matches on this card this weekend, honestly. Anyways, as for the winner of this match, it is not going to be Randy Orton or Kevin Owens. Therefore, I think Logan Paul is going to retain. I can see Logan Paul pinning Kevin Owens in order to have a singles match with Randy because Randy technically never gets pinned, and I could see that happening down the line. I thought it was going to happen for this WrestleMania, but no. Instead, we got this triple threat match, but I'm not complaining. And it should be a great match between Logan and Randy Orton at SummerSlam in Logan's hometown. I think that's what WWE is gonna book. Bayley is taking on her former friend, Io Sky, for the Women's WWE Championship. This is a match that has a lot of hype. Bayley won the Royal Rumble to earn this match. She's got a lot of momentum, and if I was WWE, I would not put an end to it. I think she's going to win this match, and I think she's going to go on to have a great title reign. For some reason, Bayley's just really good at making titles feel special. Her last reign was amazing, so I think the same is going to happen when she wins the title this weekend. LA Knight and AJ Styles have a singles match on Sunday, and these two actually just got into a brawl today, which was very good stuff. A lot of crazy words were being said. These two are going crazy. This feud has low-key been one of the best feuds for WrestleMania weekend, which is shocking because at first I was like, I don't really care, but AJ flew across the world to screw this man. Then LA Knight got arrested, and now these two are brawling over here, which led to a bloody nose and some crazy, crazy words being exchanged. This is intense stuff, and there can only be one winner, and the only right choice is having LA Knight win this match to gain some momentum i think the la knights got to be pushed and he needs to be pushed at wrestlemania by winning this match then going on to the world title picture because at this point you're just letting the man's momentum die for no reason the Pride takes on the Final Testament, and I don't think anybody cares about this one. I'm going to say the Final Testament wins, and these two factions go on to feud for the rest of their lives, and that's going to be their personal hell. And finally, we have the main event between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes for the undisputed WWE Championship. This is the biggest match in wrestling history. This is a hard decision to make. Both men have a strong argument to win, but if we had to predict what WWE is going to book... I think that Cody Rhodes is going to win, and I think everybody's expecting that Stone Cold Steve Austin, John Cena, Jey Uso, maybe Randy Orton, and a lot of other people from the past are going to come out to take out the bloodline, and we're going to get the end game moment. Then Cody will win fair and square to become the WWE champion for his father and finish his story. Anyways, that is it for the my predictions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.